Plastic bags could be sticking around. This is lawmakers in the Mid-South pushed to stop local governments from banning them. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. And I'm John Paul. What about the environment? That's one hand of the debate here, but lawmakers in Nashville say that they believe passing a bill that would override a local government's decision on whether or not to tax citizens if they use plastic when carrying out items. Local 24 News reporter Dave Dadlick is live at Bartlett to explain where Memphis stands on this controversial bill. Dave. Hey, good morning. Well, when you go to your local supermarket store, you have the option using the plastic bags they provide, bringing your own or using the paper inside. But uh, right now, you have that choice, and lawmakers in Nashville, they want to keep it that way. Now, this issue over paper or plastic, nothing new. However, this is the first time we're seeing state lawmakers step in in the state of Tennessee, wanting to make sure that local governments can't tax people who use plastic. Now, locally, over the past few years, we've seen Memphis City Council attempt to leverage attacks on plastic bag use. They've wanted to tax people seven cents per plastic bag used, but attempts to pass such an ordinance never made it very far. Now, Memphis City leaders have said that there is far too much litter in the city and plastic bags are a major contribution. This was city council on the issue last year. And as we all know that we have driven down the interstate and around uh, the city of Memphis and seen plastic bags and trees, plastic bags and waterways and drainage ditches, so on and so forth. As an avid fisherman and hunter, I love the environment and earth and want to make sure that it's uh, well protected. Now, again, the legislation in Nashville has already passed uh, the Senate and been approved by the House. It now heads to Governor Bill Lee's desk. Again, if this passes, plastic bags could stay around a lot longer. We're live in Bartlett this morning. Dave Dentling, Good Day Memphis.